start chatting now. So um, please start recording. Um, Kumar's always been really nice to help me out with this. So, um, so Eric, uh, let's uh, talk about where you've been and what you learned in the last uh, week or two. Um, well, uh, I've been busy with my move to uh, to Point Roberts, so uh, I'm only uh, doing things at half power at the moment. Um, what we're getting there, the boxes are getting uh, sorted out. So uh, I've been mostly been keeping up and uh, helping out uh, whenever there was a, a crisis, but uh, not much movement forward on my end, uh, okay. other than some some work on the on the client side code. Um, but we actually decided uh, uh, this morning that uh, we're going to give the uh the documentation higher priority uh so that uh that we have the basics uh, for the documentation uh, for well as as soon as possible because there's too many changes and documentation lying behind only creates confusion um so yeah um from what I hear, the the Shimmer uh, testnet isn't too far out, so that's going to be uh, interesting. And we're trying to get to a point with uh, smart contracts that we are close or pretty pretty quick behind that release, so that people can uh, work with that as well. Because yeah, the, just just the just the Shimmer net is not going to do much, right? Um, so everybody is working on uh, on rounding rounding off stuff, uh, starting on documentation tasks, uh, doing last minute things uh, like, for example, uh, committee rotation code was not present yet, so that's being finalized now. Um, and then you need to adapt the tools to be able to to call those uh, functionalities like the, the command line interface and such. So that's, uh, that's what's happening. Um, I'm having uh, Yang Hao uh, work on uh, all kinds of little to-dos that were left in, uh, in the code every time uh, he's like, okay, I'm done, now what? And I'll go to the <laughs> to-dos and pick one or two that he can pick up. So slowly but surely, we're uh, we're finalizing on on my end as well. My biggest gap is actually the the client side code. Uh, I I haven't really been able to work on that uh, uninterrupted for for well more than a month now. So that's that's just irritating me because I I have it all in my head, right? It's uh, it, it needs to come out at some point. But now it's delayed again with uh, with the documentation thing. Ah. Um, <clears throat> I'm probably going to remove the old shit because uh, while I'm working on the new stuff, the, the old stuff from the original Go Shimmer version is still in the in the repository, and that's only confusing. So I'm going to kill all that. Okay. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Uh, there's some progress on the zero knowledge proof uh, front because uh, our research department has been uh, doing some serious investigations uh, on, on all the projects that do zero knowledge proof. And actually they contributed uh, quite a bit <laughs> they're getting one of the most knowledgeable uh groups on the internet about zero knowledge proof because they mm -hmm. soak up everything and they've been contributing uh, uh pointing out bugs and things like that so uh and we're currently discussing whether it's possible to retrofit uh icp uh, with zero knowledge proofs that would be awesome the only problem still is that uh, generating the proof takes uh, a long time. So 
But if, if we can find solutions to that, then who knows? Um, when you, when you uh, say it takes a long time... To calculate the proof. Yeah, okay. Verifying the proof is not a problem. That That's that's quick. Yeah. But calculating the proof is, uh, is usually the hard part. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. Well, that's pretty much it. There's no real... Um, no real themes or anything other than uh, fixing little things here and there and, and finalizing stuff and getting getting things to a, a solid working state, essentially. So. Okay, so and, and, uh, and we're we're, go, we're going into vacation season pretty soon, so a lot of us will be going on vacation. Yes, that's what I was assuming. I thought I, I was suspecting people already some have already done that. So. Um. So, are are you feeling um, time frame wise? Are you are we pretty well, much? Well, my my prediction uh, from the beginning of the year pretty much still stands, <laughs> right? Somewhere Q three is uh, is my uh, my opinion, and uh, yeah, well, g given the fact that we're already in July, that seems obvious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, testnet maybe in the next couple of weeks, possible. Yeah, we... test testnet yeah. is is pretty close. I think uh, I would. I I definitely think that will be this month. Okay, but that's that's just the 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 Hornet testnet for Shimmer, and uh, whether or not uh, there will be some version of ISC running on that already. Uh, that is uh, is up in the air. I I think we we would be better off uh, if if we if we have the documentation to go with it, so that people can actually uh, yeah. start testing with it. And, and it 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 also means a, a reduction of people asking us questions. So sure. better better to have it documented so that uh, that there's a baseline there. And I think uh, Jorge was uh, talking about uh, 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 maybe creating a quick start uh, document. Okay, that would be good. So quick start for people who, for people yeah. who want to uh, to check it out. Okay, so the test net uh, would be layer one stuff, um, and um, really no smart contracts on test net. EVM stuff, your stuff may come in later, but that sounds like it'll be a press. And um... well, the, the the thing is, the the whole uh, smart code contract code uh, is is not a problem, of course. It's uh, it's just the client side code that's not uh, not ready yet. Yeah. I mean, I have a I have a rudimentary uh, version for Go working, and uh, that seems to work. So the things like uh, calling the smart contract and uh, responding to the generated events that works from the looks of it, and that has been working for quite some time already. It's just that I have to create the same thing for uh, uh, Rust and uh, TypeScript. And um, with Go, I can use... Uh, parts of the wasp libraries that support all that mm -hmm. right so that was a lot easier to do uh, for the uh, rust and go versions i'm going to try and leverage the code of uh, iota go uh, iota errors and iota js but there are some missing parts that will need to be written on both sides so and it's probably just uh, grabbing the code from uh, from the Wasp repo and uh, just implementing that the the functionalities that I need because uh, I don't need everything that's in that in that library. And since in the Go side we use IOTA Go and IOTA Go, IOTA RS, and IOTA JS should be pretty much at the same level. So 
yeah, it's going to be interesting to to see how yeah yeah how fast I can fashion that together. Uh, I'm currently just uh, implementing the the uh, framework for the clients. So okay. the the Go version has has a solid working version. So I'm modeling the framework, the outlines uh, by pretty much trying to copy everything and translating it into the correct languages. And then uh, then I need to fill in the gaps. And I refactored it a while ago so that the stuff that is independent, uh, that just interacts with, uh, with the WASMLIP, uh, that is separate. So those should be easy to translate and should probably work out of the box. But then it's the communication with the nodes and, and things like that that needs to be implemented, and and some uh, functionalities like uh, I don't know hashing or signing or that kind of shit. You need to see what yeah. exactly is in IOTA Go and which parts are missing and, and will have to be implemented from. Yeah, it's hard to remember after it by, by by translating Go code. So. Um... So that's your world, and then and then on the VM side, that that'll follow, right? So the test will come out. Your stuff, uh, you have to get through all what you just mentioned, and then on the on the VM, EVM stuff. Um, that's where we are with that. Are we a uh, week, couple of weeks past the test net on that, or or what? How, what are your feelings on that? Um, I have a lesser overview of that. Um, mm -hmm. I do know that uh, Diego encountered something with respect to tools that couldn't quite function because they're missing blocks, and he's implementing that right now. So that there's more of a block history. Initially, our EVM uh, only only had the current block essentially, but there are tools out there that require more blocks. So. He's, ah. he's building something. He said it's. Uh, it, it, this morning he mentioned something about he, he thought it was over engineered, but uh, it's it's starting to work. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, that's okay. The, the exact okay. strategy. But, but uh, are you feeling. Is it still like that's post testnet, right? It's not going to be coming with testnet, right? Um, I, I mean, uh, the Ethereum and the, the WASM VM are part of the ISC WASP node. So okay. as long as the WASP node is not, uh, uh, there to connect to the, to the Hornet nodes, uh, yeah, uh, neither will be there. <laughs> okay. All right. Well. There when when it when it will be out, there will be a version of the was was VM and of the EVM. So, but whether that will be the final or complete version, that is uh, anyone's guess. Gotcha, gotcha. Anybody have any questions for uh, Eric? Um, will the release be a part of the Shimmer X team testing before, or will we just start with the public testnet? I think the idea is to just start with the with the public testnet for Shimmer. Uh, but like I said, uh, level level one isn't much without level two. I mean, level level one doesn't really add much. If you cannot leverage all the functionality, and that's that's happening mostly at level two, so uh, the the way we see it from from the ISC side, uh, at least uh, both Evaldas and I are looking at it like this. This is an uh, an L1 plus L2 uh, collaboration effort uh, that creates something really solid that. Uh, doesn't really have uh, a match out there um, where we where we literally get rid of some of the 
the problem areas in crypto, like uh, uh, the the we call that the minor extracted value, for example. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, we've we've all seen in the last uh, few weeks how uh, uh, how the um, the points where where cryptos cross each other are constantly being attacked. Right? Where where, where you what do you call it? I can't come up with the word. The bridges. Yeah, the bridges. Yeah, and since there are there isn't no, uh, really a necessity for bridges on the iota system uh that's going to be uh, a relief as well it's just going to be uh yeah how how are we going to entice all those tokens to move to iota right <laughs> yeah i mean i think it's important as you say right that when you actually launch it, that you can actually demonstrate the differentiated value of the new network. So, yeah, in that the regard, uh, there are some pilot projects out there that are doing very interesting stuff. So, uh, in that regard, uh, we could make quite a splash, but we have to do it right and make sure that we're not. Uh, uh, Thanking ourselves or something uh, by by bugs that are still there. So even though we we all desperately want to have something out there, it needs to be solid because it needs to make a, a freaking solid first impression. As far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yep, it'll be hard. I mean, waiting is so hard, but um, yeah, gotta. Be, uh, gotta got to be solid otherwise we're, we'd have more issues than we have now so so yeah i think the second half of this year is going to be very exciting to uh, borrow a word from dom <laughs> and then <laughs> yeah so okay. yeah that's pretty much uh, what right. i can tell you right now all right any other questions for um, Eric? Otherwise, we get a we get you guys get like a a good thirty minutes or more back. Um, do you maybe have a quick overview of what of the um uh, tools will be available? Like, uh, I see from the develop branch, uh, the cluster tool is very heavily developed on, but like the private uh, DevNet Docker is not being worked on will that be available too um that again goes a bit out of my view uh i'm sure that those things will be worked on but uh right now it's it's it it's more important for us to get the basic tools all working solidly and then uh, a, a docker or other kind of uh container that that yeah, that might be, uh, I don't know, maybe it's even a community project. Uh, we, we have one or two people who can do that. Uh, Lucas, for example, created the previous Docker uh, container, so maybe he will do that. I don't know. Uh, that, that's something we haven't been discussing really right now. We're more focused on uh, what problems we encounter when we try to run the WASP cluster or try to run uh, the command line interface, uh, missing functionality there when we're testing that gets added, things like that. So I'm sure at some point we'll, we'll get there, especially once we go through the documentation uh, and we'll see that uh, that the documentation is talking about a Docker image and that Docker image doesn't work, then uh, I'm sure somebody will pick it up. A lot of a lot of things get self-assigned. People just uh, jump in wherever uh, they find something. So. Are you working for the whole documentation on the develop branch, or will the EVM documentation be worked on a different branch and then be merged into develop? 
Uh, I'm sure that we're working on the develop branch uh, for that. Uh, at least I'm I'm going to take my documents from the from Go Shimmer that are on the develop branch and uh, adapt that to Stardust. And then uh, there is some mechanism, I believe, that will pull it in into the wiki and even does proper versioning and, and, and stuff. But uh, I haven't really looked into that yet because uh, yeah, I've, I've had my plate full anyway. <laughs> yeah, OK, I think I will just ask Luke if he give me, uh, can give me some instructions on how to start already. Maybe mm -hmm. I can contribute to the documentation a bit. Yeah, that that would be awesome. That'd be great. OK, well, um, I think that's probably a wrap. So uh, thank you, Eric, for the insights. Uh, thanks yep. for everybody showing up. Um, well, I guess we're kind of in the summer doldrums, and we'll just kind of wait to see what comes out uh, here in the uh, near term. And uh, Gamar, thank you for doing the recording. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll catch you guys in a couple weeks. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.